the cleanliness of the city is one of the things that makes us one of the top places to live in the country. Keeping it that way falls on the Support Services Division and its choice of contractors. You've all been invited to bid on maintaining one of the jewels of the valley, the city of Pleasanton. We certainly don't take this responsibility lightly, and we can't emphasize the importance of this contract enough. So let's go building by building and take a look at what is involved with the contract and what the city's expectations are for the service level. The Amador Theater is located on the grounds of the Amador High School, but is solely owned by the City of Pleasanton. The building is 12,530 square feet and is one half of the performing arts venues the city operates. The theater seats 600 and is considered to be used seven days a week. Cleaning under the seats is best done by using an electric leaf blower. We found that this is the most efficient way to thoroughly clean under the seating area after each show. Gum removal on the seats and the floor space must also be carried out daily. In addition to the main theater area, there are two restrooms and dressing room areas in the basement and two offices on the second floor in the scene shop. All the floors will be cleaned every night with the exception of the stage area. There will be no service on the stage area. There are two public restrooms in the lobby a ticket office, and a food preparation service kitchen. The foyer will be blown off daily, as well as the stairs leading up to the building. The Gingerbread Preschool is a highly used classroom-style learning environment for children three to seven years old. The building must have a high degree of sterilization each night, so childhood diseases will not be spread. The porch and entranceway will be blown off daily. The building is 6,000 square feet, and is five-day service. The Cultural Arts Building is 3,200 square feet and features a pottery and dance studio. The dance studio's mirrors shall be washed daily and the floor mopped. The pottery studio will have all surfaces wiped down to eliminate dust. The presence of dust that contains silica has a negative health implication over long-term exposures, so the removal of the dust each day eliminates that concern. This is a well-used building and his five-day service. The Aquatic Center is 9,625 feet of the highest level use per square foot in the city. The facility is in use from 4.30 in the morning to 8 p.m. or later on most days. The locker room floors are epoxy and difficult to clean and keep clean. The appearance of dirt happens quickly and the contract requires you to design a cleaning regiment that will keep the floors and shower areas at an acceptable level of clean between the deep cleaning services every two weeks. The intent of this contract is to keep the locker rooms, shower areas, staff areas, and staff locker rooms clean, sanitary, and free from dirt buildup, mildew, mold, or any other debris that may be present. This facility is highly scrutinized by the public, and I would encourage you to read and thoroughly understand the cleaning requirements laid out in the RFP. The Amador Rec Building is located directly behind the Aquatic Center and is 2,015 square feet. The building has a mixture of epoxy and terrazzo floors, so no floor finish is ever required. This is one of the higher use rental facilities and is a seven day service. The flagship building downtown is the library. This 32,802 square foot building is in use seven days a week and sees more than a half million visitors each year. The building is mostly carpeted with two public restrooms, one child restroom, and two staff restrooms. 123 Main Street is known as the Civic Center Annex and is 7,528 square feet of mostly office space. There are two restrooms and one break room to service five days a week. The front entrance will be swept or blown out each service day and as part of the break room service in all buildings, the coffee maker's carafe will be dumped out and cleaned, the microwaves will be wiped down inside and out, and the countertops will be sanitized each day of service. The modular building behind 123 Main Street is the IT Modular. The building is 2,000 square feet and has no water service. The entire building is carpeted. 200 Old Bernal is our City Hall. This building houses the city council chambers and has scheduled meetings Tuesday through Thursday nights. 
The building is 14,353 square feet and has a mix of office space and open space planning. The front entrance will be blown out or swept each day of service so as to present a clean and well-kept appearance. Community Services is housed in a 2,500 square foot trailer at the side of the 200 Old Bernal building. This space has one restroom and one break room. The administration of the Livermore Pleasanton Fire Department is headquartered at our fire station number one. The RFP covers the administration half of the building only. This 9,845 square foot side has two floors, an elevator, two sets of restrooms, a break room, several private offices, and is serviced five days a week. The administration building of the Operations Services Center is the building you're sitting in right now. This facility is host to the administration staff of the maintenance divisions for the entire city. The building is 10,410 square feet of office space, meeting rooms, a workout facility, locker rooms with showers, and a public transaction counter. The building will be serviced five days a week. The OSC Water Building is 2,500 square feet of office space, a break room, a locker room, and a telemetry control room. The entire corporation yard, including the admin building, is serviced five days a week. The OSC Streets, Parks, and Support Services Building are approximately 1,500 square feet each and all have private offices, a break room, locker rooms, and a lobby area. The fire training tower is 2,000 square feet of classroom and office space and is serviced five days a week. The police pistol range is 1,200 square feet and is a classroom and two restrooms serviced twice a week. There's a special key that is required to gain access and must be picked up at the support services building each service day. The police department is a 16,897 square foot facility that is serviced seven days a week. There are two locker rooms with showers, three additional restrooms located throughout the facility, and two break rooms. The facility shall be cleaned at night with the exception of eight private offices that will be cleaned during the day shift by special arrangement with the chief of police. The private offices will be cleaned on weekdays only. Please make sure you visit the cleaning requirements for the shower area in the RFP. The senior center is 22,000 square feet and is considered to be one of our flagship facilities. There's a commercial kitchen that requires cleaning as part of the deep cleaning specifications, two large public restrooms, an adult day care center, a grand hall, and several classrooms. The main hall floor is maple and shall not have excess water used on it during the daily cleaning. Great care shall be exercised in cleaning the hardwood surfaces to prevent damage from water. This building is considered occupied until midnight Friday through Sunday. The main hall shall be cleaned regardless of any setup that may be present at the time of service. Our veterans are honored with one of the city's most majestic buildings. The Veterans Memorial Building is a 9,000 square foot facility that's home to several veterans organizations and is heavily used on the weekends with rental events. The main hall features the same type of maple hardwood floor that the Senior Center has and the same care procedures must be followed. There's also a commercial kitchen that must be cleaned per the commercial kitchen deep cleaning guidelines. 157 Main Street is part of our administrative group of buildings in the downtown area. This facility can serve as a staging area for your custodial supplies for the entire downtown Civic Center area. There are two restrooms on the first floor and one on the second floor for a total square footage of 7,000 square feet. The Firehouse Arts Center is a 22,000 square foot fine and performing arts facility located in the heart of downtown. This facility is operated seven days a week and features an art gallery, classrooms, concession area, public art space, theater space, and several offices. The theater shall be cleaned the same as Amador Theater and there will be no work on the stage area. Under no circumstances will any artwork be touched or cleaned. Since the performances can run late into the evening, the building will be considered occupied until midnight, Thursday through Sunday. The Alviso Adobe is an interpretive center located on Foothill Road. The milking barn and restroom structure is all that you're servicing at this location. The milking barn requires attention to the high dusting on a more than weekly basis. 
the location of the facility lends itself to having more than the normal amounts of dust. The floors in the milking barn are unfinished concrete, so cleaning with more than a vacuum is usually required. The Nature House is a small facility for interpretive programs. The building is 800 square feet and is five day service. The Sports Park Tower is a two-story building located in the Ken Mercer Memorial Sports Park. The second floor houses two offices, a meeting room, restroom, and break area. The total square footage is 2,000 square feet and the building is in seven day use. Add Alternate 1 is the Museum on Main Street located at 603 Main Street. The building has two public restrooms, one large display room and one smaller display room, private offices and an archives room. The building is 4,700 square feet and will be serviced three days a week. Add alternate number two are the City of Pleasanton's 15 park restroom facilities. These facilities are spread all over the town and are heavily used. Please consult the RFP for locations and descriptions. Before you bid, Please familiarize yourself with all of the requirements of the RFP. Make sure you sign where indicated on the proposal forms and you return the required paperwork with your sealed bid to the City Clerk's Office no later than 2 p.m. on December 4th. This video will be available online for your review until the bidding closes. Thank you all for attending and helping keep the City of Pleasanton the jewel of the valley.